So off camera, I'll spend a bit of time going through that drill to work out exactly where it is uh, that my specific dysfunction uh, appears to be. Um, it appears to be the medial arch of my right foot uh, in this extended inhale position just here. Okay, so using our self-care technique, we're going to go for the direction of ease first. So we are going to take ourselves across. So if this is where I'm having most of the problem, down in this right hand corner, we're going to come up in this position. So does that make sense? If this is where it's most uncomfortable on the right, so right hand side in this position, we're going to come across into this position, making sure that we have those cues and we're just going to hang out here for a little bit. So this is our eased direction. This is the position that we are most comfortable in. After we've hung out there for a little bit, we're going to take an inhale, make sure we spread those ribs and sit bones laterally as we come back into that right hand side and we're just going to stretch into that region. And that's already a little less comfortable, but it's not completely resolved. So I'm going to spend a little bit more time up here on that opposite side, making sure we've got all those cues, making sure that we don't, we're still pushing the ground away with our feet, with our hands, stick it out here for a little bit, and then we're going to come back. Inhalation position, laterally through the ribs, laterally through the sit bones, I'm going to come down into that right quadrant, making sure that we keep a nice neutral spine as we do so. That feels a little better, but I think there's a little bit more work to do. Okay, good. So next up, if you've still got some issues, we can look at finger magnets. So for the finger magnets, I've actually changed the position. Now you might be horrified to think that I'm actually going to do some work on the pelvic floor. Um, you'll be pleased to know that my finger magnets are not drawn to that position. So whilst I have my primary issue here and we are linking that to the pelvic floor with what's going on, having listened to my body and sat with it for a while and tried to understand what it is that I need, we actually find there's a point just here that needs work with that finger. And there is a point just here that needs work with that finger. So we're just gonna sit here and we're going to breathe and relax, keep listening to our body, see what happens. And remember this is a nice gentle touch, okay? So we're touching lightly, we're just seeing what happens and we're waiting until it feels like our fingers no longer want to be engaged with these particular points. Okay, good. So now we're going to go back, reassess, see how that feels in here, and we'll see if it's worked. So after our self-care routine, we're going to go back and see if there has been any change, adaptation as to what's happened with the self-care. So exactly the same as before, make sure all our cues are engaged. We take a breath in. And out. And that actually felt pretty good. It'd be interesting to see what the video shows. Um, no pain in the foot. Felt like I was able to inhale a little easier as well. Uh, no real discrepancy in my breath at the point that it was catching last time. So overall result. Let me know how you get on. Any questions, then let me know. Okay, so I hope this helps either with your foot or pelvic floor dysfunction, as well as uh, any ankle or hip mobility issues that you may be experiencing at the moment. Uh, one thing I wanted to add at the end of this video, um, if you've had any pelvic floor trauma, so by that I mean 
um, any medical procedure or surgical procedure or cosmetic procedure or any other pelvic floor trauma where there might be scar tissue, it may be that uh, what you're doing with this drill may not help too much. If that's the case, please feel free to reach out to me uh, or any one of my colleagues who can help you specifically with what's going on with that case.